The tea time management out of day function should be run once daily once all tea sheet activity has been completed for the day. The end of day routine serves the following functions. To run the end of day processing, navigate to tea time management, processing, and end of day processing. Select your club, and for the golf course option, select a specific golf course or all golf courses. Set the tea sheet date option to a selected date or a range of dates, and specify the tea sheet date or range of dates. Before you close the tea sheets, it is highly recommended to preview the end of day report to ensure all bookings have been checked in. This can be done by setting the processing option to preview report. Then click OK. From here, you can go ahead and view or print your report. This report will show which members and guests that had a tea time booking for the day. Ideally, by end of day, everyone should be checked in and charged accordingly. If there are any open bookings, you will have to process those prior to closing the tea sheet. A round summary of the day will also be included in the report that is broken down by golfer classification. Once you are satisfied with the report and all check-ins have been processed, switch the processing option to close tea sheets. Lottery points option. If the initial tea time distribution method for this tea sheet was preferred tea time request, you have the option to distribute points when closing a tea sheet. The points distributed are based on the tea times assigned using the lottery rules in effect for your club. Typically, the only time that the option no distribution of tea time request points is used is when you experience a large number of tea time cancellations and or no shows due to inclement weather, poor course conditions, etc. Also set the booking points options to distribute or not distribute points. Set the tea sheet auto open option to open advanced tea sheets per course setup or do not open advanced tea sheets. Lastly is the weather button. If you haven't recorded the weather conditions within the main reservation screen, you can do so here. Click OK to save. Once you have configured all of the settings, click OK to close today's tea sheets and open advanced tea sheets if applicable. Note that if you have not recorded weather conditions for the day, you will receive a prompt providing you with the opportunity to do so. If there are still open reservations on the tea sheet, a pop-up will inform you that the end of day process you are trying to run will be aborted and you will have to check in the reservations prior to running at the end of day processing. From here, you can go ahead and view or print your report. If you need to reopen a closed tea sheet to make edits or enter in missed reservations, for example, you can do so by navigating to tea time management, processing, and reopen a closed tea sheet. Select your club and golf course and the tea sheet date you would like to open. Then click OK. If you use TBD to be determined players, that become invalid based on a preset schedule, you will want to remove the expired TBD players from the tea sheet as part of your end of day processing. This can be done by navigating to tea time management, processing, and TBD member expirations. Select your club and set the starting and ending dates. Select one or all golf courses and set the processing option to preview report, then click OK. If everything looks good on the report, switch the processing option over to cancelled expired TBD members on the tea time booking and click OK to process. Note that this program is compatible with Club Automation. For more information, please reach out to your account rep. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.